Hello, my name is Henry Benick, and I want to take a few minutes of your time and just share something that I think will be interesting. We're doing a series on asking questions. And you know, growing up in my own home, I asked a lot of questions. I remember I was on the Hebrew school bus one day, and I heard a boy say the word, and probably didn't use it reverently, but he just said, Jesus Christ. And I wondered, what is that? Who is that? I'd never heard of that. And so I went home and I asked my mother, Mom, you know, who is that? What, what does that name mean? And she said, stay away from those people. Those people persecuted the Jewish people. They're Christians. They're not to be believed. Stay away from them. If you see a Christian, cross the street, walk on the, on the other side of the street. And I never understood why it was so bad. And so, you know, when your mother tells you not to do something, what do you do? Of course, you do it. So I began to do a little study about Jesus, who he was, what he was found out some interesting things, and I found out that he was Jewish, and his all of his friends were Jewish, and the book he read was Jewish, and everything was Jewish, and I thought, what is so terrible about this? I found out, really, by asking questions, that uh, it wasn't so much that they had an objection to him, it was that they had a misunderstanding about what a real believer in Yeshua, or Jesus, if you want to call him that, uh, what they believed. And so I want to answer a few questions, and I'm going to do that over a series of videos, but I just want to share maybe just a brief testimony. I grew up in a Jewish home. It was kind of a semi-Orthodox home. Friday night at sundown till Saturday night at sundown, we observed the Sabbath, which meant you can't turn on a light switch. You can't uh, uh, open an umbrella. You can't start a fire, so you can't drive. So on Saturday morning, I'd walk to the synagogue, walk home, then every day, my parents had me go to Hebrew school. I went from um, 4 o'clock in the afternoon until uh, 7 o'clock at night. I really didn't like it, but I was told this is what I had to do to become a man when I became 13 years of age, and I would have my bar mitzvah. And uh, I began to go and study and learn, and when I was done, I, my mom asked me, well, what do you want to do now? And I told her, I really don't want to go back. And I didn't go back. And it began a kind of an unusual searching in my life for the true meaning of life. And perhaps you're asking the question, what is the meaning of life? What, what is going to happen to me after my life is over? Well, I'd like you to watch the videos we're going to be doing here in the, over the next few weeks, myself and some of the other men that I work with. And we want to be able to answer some questions uh, to Jewish people, to you, uh, to what really is the truth about the Jewish Messiah. Did he come? Is he coming? When will he come? Are we at the end of the end times? Is, is this coronavirus the end times? So we're going to answer those questions, and I hope that you'll uh, take a listen and keep uh, up with what we're doing here. Just follow us right here, and you may want to visit us time to time um, at Gem Missions. That's J-E-M-M-I-S-S-I-O-N-S -S -S on Facebook. Gem Missions will also be posting some videos on YouTube. So stay with us and we'll answer some questions and maybe this will pique your mind to asking what is the real truth about the Messiah. Thank you so much.